um, at this point, we need some outside system that was, is going to um, monitor whether or not we're clicking gems that are next to other gems. And we're going to do that in the board. Um, we're going to have a function called void swap gems. It's going to take a gem, call it our current gem, and we need some fields. The way the swapping is going to work is you're going to click on one gem, and then you're going to click on another gem, and then depending on uh, where you clicked, what gem you clicked, and if, it, if it's next to the other gem, we're going to do different things. Um, so we're going to need a, uh, a gem called our last gem. Um, Alright, so if our last gem is equal to null, then we're going to set our current or our last gem equal to our current gem. So what this does is that every time we click a gem, if we haven't already clicked a gem, then we're going to say that the gem we're clicking is the first gem in our uh, click system, or is it in our swapping algorithm. Um, if our last gem is equal to our current gem, then you double click the gem. And we're going to just say our last gem is null because I'm going to assume that they want to, at that point, not click that gem. And then we're going to go into else. So this at this point we know that we have clicked a gem at least once, and we're clicking a gem that's not our, our, not, our not the gem we selected last time. So this is a new gem that we selected. And so now we need to know if this gem is a neighbor with our other gem. So we're going to make another function in here called public void is neighbor with, and it's going to take a gem g. So this is going to say if neighbors that contains g. So if the neighbors contains it, then we want to return true. Otherwise, return false. And it's not void, it's full. So this is just a function that's going to ask our neighbors if it contains this gem. And if it does, it will return true, and if it doesn't, it will say false. So if our last gem dot is neighbors with our current gem. We're going to do something, otherwise we click the gem that's not neighbors with our last gem. We're going to do something else. So we're going to say um, last gem dot uh, toggle selector and then last gem equals current gem. So what this does is we're going to turn off our gem that we had last time because we're clicking far enough away that it's a new selection. And then we're going to say that our new selection is last gem is going to start with our current gem. So you can see how this works. So if I click here and I click here, oh, it should have turned off. <laughs> Oh wait, that's why it's, yeah, I have to call this function. Okay, so we need to call the board from our gem. Uh, so we're just going to use gameobject.find. Uh, we call it board. Get component. Board. Um, swap gems. This. And I forgot I should have taken that out. Toggle selected. Okay. So now let's see how this works. So I click here and I click here. They're not neighbors, so they move. 
I click here and I click here, they are neighbors, are neighbors. It's obviously not complete since it's trailing, but the general system is coming underway.